Hello, this is Richard Walker from Lucidate. Welcome to this video where we explore the importance of augmented domain-specific datasets in building large language models and showcase Bloomberg GPT, a 50 billion parameter LLM trained on a diverse range of financial and publicly available data. But first, let's understand what LLMs are and why they matter. Large language models are machine learning models that can generate human-like language and understand natural language inputs. They have numerous applications from chatbots and virtual assistants to language translation and content generation. Building an effective LLM requires a massive amount of high quality data, which can be a challenge for specialized domains such as finance. This is where Bloomberg GPT comes in Bloomberg, a financial data company, has extensive archives of financial data covering a range of topics. Using a portion of this training corpus augmented with general purpose language datasets, Bloomberg trained a 50 billion parameter model designed based on guidelines from DeepMind. At the outset, the Bloomberg team observed two different results from general purpose LLMs, such as ChatGPT and GPT-4. One result was bad and one result was good. The bad one was that unsurprisingly, the large general purpose language models underperformed smaller domain specific language models on tasks in that particular area of specialization. This is perhaps unsurprising. Recent efforts in training models using only domain-specific data have yielded models that beat general-purpose LLMs on tasks such as science and medicine. However, the good trait of large language models is that they exhibit emergent behavior. Once released, they can rapidly gain subject matter expertise in niche areas with well-crafted prompts. This involves providing the trained model with relevant information from an area of specialization. Here, relevant information might be a couple of well-written research papers or some well-crafted paragraphs in that subject. Once these prompts have been provided, the model instantaneously learns to respond with greater expertise in that field. You'll hear this referred to as one-shot or few-shot learning. Therefore, Bloomberg adopted a best of both worlds approach by augmenting their finance specific data set, which they called ThinPile, with a general purpose corpus of text. This mixed training approach resulted in a model that vastly outperformed existing models on in domain tasks while being on par or better on general NLP benchmarks. It also allows users of the model to refine and deepen its niche specialization with some well-crafted prompts. The creation of Bloomberg GPT's augmented dataset involved using curated and prepared data from reliable sources as well as public datasets. This allowed for the inclusion of a more diverse and robust dataset, which improved the model's ability to generalize to different financial tasks. The size, diversity and quality of Bloomberg GPT's augmented data set were crucial factors in the model's superior performance on financial and general benchmarks. This success suggests that augmented data sets are crucial to developing LLMs that excel in specific areas. Once a data set is curated, it needs to be transformed into numerical values that can be understood and operated on by the AI language model. This first involves tokenization, where each word is broken up into its semantic primitives to help the AI learn more about the semantics of the words. While language rarely follows strict rules, it does have a bunch of primitives that are applied consistently enough to be very useful to AI language models. Suffixes like ly to generate an adverb or ing to create a verb. By breaking up the words in our text into these tokens, we can help the AI learn a lot more about the semantics of our words. In order to feed these tokens into our model, they need to be converted into numerical values. Computers don't get language. They get mathematical constructs like scalars, vectors, matrices, and tensors. 
So tokens are then converted into a huge vector containing hundreds of numbers to represent each token. This is a process called embedding. If you're unfamiliar with it, then there's a link to a video on word embeddings at the end of this episode. These embedding vectors have some remarkable properties, both remarkable and extremely useful. For instance, if you take the vector for the token king, subtract the vector for man, then add woman, you end up with the vector for the token queen. So let's walk step by step through the training process to see how the Bloomberg GPT team were able to use this augmented corpus to train their model. Firstly, the training process involves breaking a sequence of words into an input sequence and an output sequence. The input sequence will be shown to the model and the model is required to generate the output sequence or something close to it. Here we will use the appropriate phrase, an input sequence generates an output sequence. Secondly, these sequences are tokenized or broken up into word primitives. Thirdly, each token is converted into an embedding vector. A sequence is consequently represented as a matrix, that is to say, a sequence of vectors. Fourthly, the transformer is then shown the input sequence, which is passed through all of the layers of the decoder to generate an output sequence matrix. Finally, the numerical error, the difference between the actual output matrix we're trying to achieve and the matrix generated by the decoder is used to update the weights in the model using a technique called back propagation. Again, there's a link at the end of this video for people unfamiliar with back propagation. This back propagation learning step happens over and over and over and over again. Repeated enough times, the model's 50 billion parameters will converge to values where the model generates sensible outputs and the model is said to be trained. Bloomberg GPT made the design choice to use something called masked attention during training, where words in the middle of the sentence are blanked out and the decoder has to predict the missing words. This approach improved the model's performance on financial tasks. In summary, building effective large language models requires massive amounts of high quality data, which can be a challenge for specialized domains such as finance. Augmented domain specific data sets are crucial to developing large language models that excel in specific areas. Bloomberg GPT is an excellent example of how companies can harness the power of large language models to solve complex problems within their domain. Teams and other firms can follow Bloomberg's example and curate their own augmented data sets to improve the performance of their models. Thank you for watching this video on the importance of augmented domain specific data sets for building large language models. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to Lucidate to be notified whenever we release a new video. Please join me in the next video on tokenization.